Welcome back everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to make use of props with the Composition API. Now this is best understood with an example, so let's dive into the code straight away. To get us started, I have created two files within the components folder, person.view and person.greeting.view. Person.view is the parent component and person greeting is the child component. Within person.view, we have two input fields for first name and last name, both bound to reactive values using the ref function. So the person component is written completely with the composition API. Within the component template, we also have the person greeting component. To this component, we pass in first name and last name as props. The person greeting component, as the name indicates, renders a greeting message in the template. So we have the props option with the two props, which we then bind to the template using the mustache syntax. This of course is first name followed by last name. If we now include person.view in app component and head to the browser, we should see the two inputs and the text message from the child component. If I fill in first name and last name fields, the greeting message updates appropriately. Now although our child component works perfectly fine, the better way to define our template is to replace the first and last name with a single computed property. Let's see how to do that first with the options API computed option and then with the composition API computed function. So first the options API. In person greeting dot view I'm going to add the computed option. This is an object. The computed property is full name and we return first name followed by last name. So this dot first name followed by this dot last name. In the template, we can now bind just the full name. If we take a look at the browser, refresh, fill in Bruce Wayne we still see the same output. Let's go back to VS Code and replace the computed option with the composition API computed function. So let me comment out the computed option. Now for the composition API. First, import computed from view. Now define the full name computed property. So add the setup method and define full name which is equal to the computed function and this function accepts another function as argument. Within the function we need to return the passed in first name followed by last name. But the problem is if I were to write this dot first name followed by this dot last name, our component will throw an error. And that is because the setup method is called very early in the component's lifecycle. So this keyword does not point to the component instance and will be undefined. Now if that is the case, how do we get hold of the props within the setup method? Well, as it turns out, the setup method receives an argument which is the props for this component. So specify props and now within the computed function, we can simply access props.firstName and props.lastName. Make sure to return full name from the setup method so that the template binding works as expected. If we now go back to the browser, refresh, Fill in Clark Kent. Our UI still works as expected. So 
if we need to get hold of the component props when using the composition API, it is available as the first argument to the setup method. All right, we now have an idea of passing information from the parent component to the child component. In the next video, let's see how to pass information from the child component back to the parent. That is, emitting events from the child to the parent with the composition API.